here's the plan. We realized because of the holidays. I've assumed the position. We needed to shoot one more episode. Right. So that Chad didn't have to work on Christmas Day. Right. We didn't, I wasn't prepared for that. You want me to carry So you? we're just gonna pick something from the vault to review. I can carry you. What, what do you want to do? Do it every other episode, so. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> We still have no whiskey. You want whiskey? Yeah. I'm looking at the locked cabinet. No, it's locked. I don't I'm, know where the key is. It's lost forever. No, I'm looking right at the locked cabinet. No, no. That's only glass. No, no. Lock. I can get through the glass. <laughs> no, it's got to be attainable without having to open a door. Oh. Are there any, uh... Of all the money that e'er I've had, I have spent it in good company. And oh, I'm trying to fill time. Really mellow corn. <laughs> you are so redneck. <laughs> every once in a while, every once in a while, I remember that Rex is from Oklahoma. <laughs> no. Yeah, you are. I was born in Oklahoma. Yeah, that's that's what matters, dude. I was here in the first grade. That's what matters. First grade. That's what matters. Actually, he, so Re Texas is gonna build a wall between Oklahoma and Texas. I will tell you this though. <laughs> By the first grade, I was in Texas, but not soon enough. For like the first thirty years of my life, mm -hmm. every time I would go through Oklahoma, mm -hmm. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this. Every time I drive through Oklahoma, mm -hmm. there's this feeling of, ah, oh, I'm home. Ah, <laughs> no way. <laughs> yes. Wow. For thirty years of my life. Wow, that's fundamental. It's not. Yeah, it is. I mean, like, that, that's not rational, that's just ethos. Yes. It's like, oh, man. What about it? All the, Like, just the shape, like, the words Oklahoma, welcome to I, Oklahoma. I can, I can name you specific things. Yeah, bring it on. So, you cross the, the river, and it's just right. like a red. You got play. the Choctaw bingo the, signs. Yeah, all, the, all the Choctaw bingo stuff. Yeah, yeah you've got the McDonald's <laughs> on the bridge across the highway. Oh, all the McDonald's on the bridge across the highway is yeah. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, like, every time I visit my grandparents' house, the... The dirt there, yeah, was just black, yeah, and rich, and oh, they yeah. could grow anything. They like you just throw some seeds out in the yard, and then you have an eight. It just grows. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And then <laughs> um, like the type of grass and the hills and yeah. the, the trees are bigger. Bring it on, right? So, well, you. So here's the thing: you're remembering the pretty part of Oklahoma. And by the way, Eastern Oklahoma. No, no I was in the northwest, north east, east northeast, yeah, broken, north, yeah, yeah, so, Tulsa, broken arrow, yeah. yeah. It's hauntingly beautiful. It's where the Ozarks begin. Yeah. Right? <gasps> oh, I love the Ozarks! And the thing is, the Ozarks are magically beautiful. Yeah. Like, they approach Scotland in ethereal, otherworldly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people think of Oklahoma as Western Oklahoma. Flat, no. sh Can I, I'll say this. I've never once been to the Panhandle. Yeah, it's a, it's not the, so the beautiful Oklahoma, where like the, um, there's a pass, the Talamana Pass, it starts in Oklahoma, ends in Arkansas, one of the best motorcycle rides you'll ever take. Yeah. Eastern Oklahoma, hauntingly beautiful. And if that's your memory of Oklahoma, yeah. then I buy that it's nostalgic. Going back every year for Christmases as a kid. That is not the stereotype playing, that people think of when they think Oklahoma. Playing though. with my cousins, the best climbing trees in the world. In Oklahoma. It's true. Okay. In eastern Oklahoma. So this is a corn whiskey. Does it mean it's 100% corn? This is Heaven Hill, who also made, who owns Elijah hey, Craig. First, right? first, have we not reviewed this? I no, just, I don't think we have. I just pulled some redneck stuff off the shelf. No, Mel, here's, here's the depressing thing. I actually really like Mel corn. Really? <laughs> it's, it's considered a budget corn so whiskey. I was, but it's I was, a straight whiskey. I was going for something that is like, in a million years, Daniel would never choose. No, this is, this is budget. And the screw cap, Plastic lid, but it is bottled in bond over four-year-old straight corn whiskey. How do you like this? Because on the nose, I'm getting... It's pure vanilla and corn. I'm getting... And dusty. Vanilla and candy corn. Yeah, candy corn, dust. You like candy corn? Not really, but something about this, I, I can't explain it. It's like having that one guilty pleasure dessert. This is your Oklahoma. It's my Oklahoma. <laughs> Yeah, Oklahoma, where the wind comes rushing to. Oh, and the toll booths, the toll roads. Oh, I got screwed on the toll roads. Love the toll roads. Never remember. So amazing, you can't drive a quarter of a mile without giving some asshole money. It's the best. And for years, they didn't even have like the the fast pass lane. Right. You had to stop, and they only took cash. 
if you were like, well, I have a credit card, you had to manually take one of those things where they went shk, shk, and right. and copied your credit card info. People are backing up behind you. Yeah, you got like 40 cards behind you honking. <laughs> like, oh, and then, and then you had to do that every two miles. <laughs> And the politicians are like, no, it's just a toll roads to pay for this, to pay for this. And then once it's paid for, it's like, well, you know, if we take it out, we're going to have to raise your taxes. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so corn whiskey is a category. Wow. This is, uh, well, bottled and bond means it has to be 50% alcohol, 100 proof. Vanilla, dusty, candy corn. Yeah, absolutely. And dusty is the key word. Yeah. You actually get that kind of grain dust that kind of... If you've ever dumped bags of corn for feed purposes. You know why this why? isn't disappointing me as much as I was braced for? Why? It's 50%. That's what I just said. Oh. You are not. I don't. We've established this. <laughs> Daniel. I literally. From the beginning. I literally just, just said that sentence. <laughs> it came out of my mouth. <laughs> you can watch for the very first episode we shot together. <sighs> I'm just waiting for you to shut up so I can drink the whiskey. I'm not listening to anything you're having to say. Distilled and bottled. I, I can't even hear you anymore. Did you say it was Heaven Hill yet? <laughs> <laughs> In the very beginning of this episode, I said, Heaven Hill is the same company who owns Elijah Craig, Did you the say, whiskey we just distilled. Did you say it's from, from uh, Kentucky? <sighs> Did you say Kentucky? What are we doing with our lives? <laughs> what am I doing with my It's, it's a hundred proof. My dad, I should have gone to college. I should have been a lawyer. Did you not go to college? I should have. I mean, I did go to college, but not for the things I should have gone for. Oh, uh, what did you go for? What did you go to college for? Well, I got a, I got a... You got a degree? Yeah. Really? So I actually have a degree in business management, but, uh, but I also have a lower degree in fashion design. <laughs> But the thing is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Put a purity in that sentence. Okay, Mr. Fashion. <laughs> Black shirt, same clothes every day. Where you at? Just give, give zero <laughs> I'm too tired to... I care about clothes. I'm just too tired to go shop for them. Okay. So let's assess my situation here. Yeah. All right. You're looking pretty hipster, although your shirt has not... Just has been in a pile of clean clothes that you forgot to hang up and put away. Wrong. This was in an antique armoire amongst a pile of folded shirts, but it was scrunched in the it was, back. It was badly folded. It was scrunched in the back, and I recently rediscovered it. Okay. I didn't realize I had this okay. shirt. So it shows how much you know. I don't know if it's, if it's because it's the fourth episode on an empty stomach. I'm not disliking this. No, I... As much what as did I, I tell you, you brought it over. I said you're trying to joke around with me, but I actually really like this. Really? Yes. Well, so okay. here's you turning me on to Mellow Corn. You ready? Sure. Zach Smith. Oh, I know the name. The new vice chancellor oh, of the, the Wizard yeah, the Academy. Yeah. yeah. And a level three whiskey sommelier. Yeah. He did as I think as a joke. Yeah. One of the first gatherings of the whiskey school. Right. They brought a whole bunch of different things, and we were all going to try them down at Engelbrecht and see what we liked. Yeah. And everybody really liked this one whiskey. And at the end, he was like. That one that all of you really liked, it was Mellow Corn. That's funny. Yeah. And that's when I tried Mellow Corn for the first time. So this is the this is a whiskey that I will say. And let me finish the sentence. Do it. I think it will make amazing cocktails. Not because it needs help from a cocktail, but because it has a really nice base flavor. And it has all the right ingredients. That I think you could design a really nice cocktail around. Here is another corn whiskey. That's, um, Bel this is Balconis Baby Blue. Okay. Blue corn, roasted blue corn. Ah, uh, that is. Oh. That's more what you think when you think, give me a corn whiskey. That is toffee and caramel. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, six months old. This is young, mm -hmm. right? This is four years. Really? Mellow more corn. or more. Mellow corn. Who knew? Yeah, look at the difference. I actually prefer the Balconis one. Yeah, no, it's got, so there's more complexity to the Balconis. Yeah. You got some apple in there, a little bit of butter. Even though it's young, there's more complexity. Yeah. Some there's something about the age on this. Vanilla. Calmed. Ooh, <laughs> vanilla really showed up. I'm going to add a little water to the mellow corn. And the Balconis. Well, and remember, the Balconis is, uh, no, it's 46. Wow. It's a reasonable percentage. And then the vanilla turns into a candy corn eventually. Yeah. After going through several stages. And, but you can see the same category. Yeah. We're living in the same category. Yeah, we eventually get to candy corn. 
But I, I hate candy corn. It's the worst candy ever made. It's a travesty. It is. Yeah, the best person opinion on candy corn in the history of the planet mm -hmm. is Lewis Black. All you need to do is Google Lewis Black candy corn and you'll get the best rant on candy corn you've ever seen in your life. Did I pick a good one? <laughs> it's classy. Yeah. I think I picked a real good one. Yeah, I'm switching to Balconis. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't know the storied history of Mellow, Mellow Corn. corn. <laughs> Off the top of your head. Yeah. In the annals of whiskeydom. Thanks. Ah, okay. Here's to fatty stealing and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.